name is Majd Al Majdi. I will introduce our project. Our project is about uh, to make alarm for small animals to prevent them from uh, to get in the uh, garden. I will act as rabbit and walk to the this alarm. And in this case, the rabbit or any animals that they will say run away from the the garden, and this is good for for who wants let's say make a alarm for the garden. I'm Greg Lucas, and uh, I'm going to give you an overview of the the PCB board and our the alternative circuit on the red. So this is our PCB circuit that we designed. Um, these jumpers over here go to the buzzer, which it's actually a good idea if you want to be able to put the buzzer like somewhere out, like uh, if this isn't a waterproof enclosure, so you can have the buzzer out closer to like uh, where the rabbit's going to be, so it can hear it better. Um, this is just a switch jumper. I didn't have the right, we would have the right uh, switch to solder in there, like a two-pin switch. Um, then these two pairs of jumpers are for the trimmer capacitors, which you could optionally mount on C2 and C1 there. Um, and this is also, this is just another capacitor, C6 that you can see over here. Um, originally these were rated at like 20 picofarads because the, the value that we needed was like a 39 picofarad. Um, so this was so we could modify that value. Uh, we couldn't get it working precisely on the uh, on this board because the trimmer capacitors, the, the manufacturing tolerances are really high for like, like let's say this is a 9 to 50 picofarad trimmer. It could be up to like 100% off, so it could have a value of 100 uh, picofarads, which uh, for this circuit and getting like the sensitivity right, it, it's really tough and uh, we're running out of time pretty much like because uh, to get them from Mauser takes like, you know, a week and they cost $5 each there. These two specific ones are from Fry's, and we're trying to get out to work, but we couldn't. Um, so here's our, we have it working on this circuit, which there's nothing really different from both of these circuits, except for the addition of this one uh, picofarad capacitor in between the two trimmers, because, yeah, you can kind of see the similar configuration, at least for those. Um, but as you can see, let's look at pin 7 on the hex inverter. As you can see on the voltmeter, it's usually about three volts. And when a, a bunny jumps on the, the aluminum foil, it lowers to uh, yeah, about let's say 1.8 volts, and that is inverted to high at the gate of the transistor. And that's pretty much a basic overview. All right, um, my name is Rob Mucha. I'm a part of this project as well. Um, I will go ahead and describe the circuit that we built. Um, so right here, uh, we have a hex, in, a hex inverter. Um, these two buffers right here create an oscillating circuit. Um, it's a U1B and U1A. And then right here we got our two trimmer caps. And then in the middle we have a jumper pin that goes to our capacitive sensor. Okay, I'll get that in focus. And what's happening here is that we have an oscillating circuit created. Um, and then the values of R1, C1, C2 um, determine the frequency at, of that oscillation. And then right here we have a, a voltage coupler circuit. And then when we introduce uh, the something, an object, a bunny onto the sensor, this voltage drop goes into this buffer right here, which is going to be a low, and then it uh, creates a high output that turns on our transistor, and then our, buff our buzzer, in essence, gets turned on as well. And that is the gist of it, and I'll demonstrate the buzzing one more time. And you got, you can also calibrate the circuit for proximity, I'm not touching it right now, just hovering over it, so it's adjustable as well. Thank you.